it was announced that Roy Ankara, the Gold Coast boy from Accra, who calls himself the Black Flash, was matched to fight Ronnie Clayton for his Empire featherweight title, fight fans made a beeline for the Empress Hall. The champion, in ten years in the ring, has earned a reputation as a fine, tough scrapper. So this looked like being the fight of the year. On the great nights, Newcastle United, winners of the Football Cup final, joined the 8,000 crowd. In ringside seats were service chiefs as the time came and Ronnie Clayton entered the ring and went over to greet the Gold Coast boy. It was Ankara's first fight over 15 rounds and experts wondered whether he could go the distance. They had a big surprise coming to them. Right from the start, Ankara opened up with his famous whirlwind two-fisted attack. He'd won 16 of his 17 fights in Europe that way and saw no reason to change. Clayton usually needs a round or two to warm up. But the Black Flash couldn't wait, so Clayton opened up too. And the fight became much too fast for a blow-by-blow -blow commentary. In round two, Clayton got a cut under the eye, but it wasn't much, and both boys came out fresh and full of fight for round three. Ankara attacked with everything at once, but in a clinch, Clayton let loose a barrage of body blows that forced him to break. Ankara was really working up speed with his blows. Some missed, some hit, but he seemed tireless. Clayton seemed puzzled to cope with his fighting octopus. Then in the excitement, the Black Flash butted the Blackpool boy and referee Tommy Little stopped the fight to warn him. <laughs> Rounds five, six and seven went to Ankara. Round eight went to the Blackpool boy. the longest distance Ankara had gone before. But if he was tiring, Clayton didn't notice it. Rounds 11, 12 and 13, Ankara going stronger than ever. Round 14, and the former sergeant instructor was still giving Clayton a lesson in assault and battery. It really wasn't necessary for the ref to check the score while the boxers waited for the last round. of Accra was announced as the winner on points after a grand scrap by both boys. Congratulations and the British Boxing Board of Controls Cup were given to Roy Ankara, first Gold Coast boy to win an Empire Trophy.